What's good, everybody? This is your boy, D-Money. We on another episode of the Lot of Fashion Podcast. And what we're going to talk about on this episode today is how to market your brand for zero dollars. You know what I'm saying? Um, the number one source for this is, of course, social media. You know, this is before you even get the paid ads. So that's going to allow you to market your products and services and, you know, whatever else you got going on for your brand for free. Um, there's a few ways to implement the growth, you know, through social media a lot faster than normal. But don't forget, it's going to take time. It's a process. And of course, it's going to take consistency, focus and discipline for actual results. So first and foremost, number one is everybody says that you got to post every day, but it's always good to, you know, repost your stories every day, at least three times a day. Um, but for beginners, it's good to be posting captivating content at least two to three times a day because when you're using solid thumbnails, creative, bold titles, you know, trendy, controversial topics and high quality value to products and services that you got going on for your brand, it's going to elevate the views for the different platforms, specifically like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, because people want to see eye-catching things. They have a short attention span, so when you actually use uh, captivating um, content, then they're going to tap in more frequently and they're going to show more engagement as well too so make sure that you focus in on perfection more so than quantity but at the same time the more that you get out there and the more frequently that you post instead of trying to look cool the more you're you know you're going to beat out your competition so definitely tap in number two uh you know is the 80 uh, 80 20 rule the 80 20 rule is 80 percent of your content should be motivational inspirational educational or entertaining content that relates to your product services but not in a selling manner and can add value to your audience. It's gonna be content that, you know, um, relates to your brand story. It's gonna speak the volumes of, you know, what you are trying to get your audience to understand about what your brand is, the experiences that you've been through that you're trying to get them to relate to, so that way they pick up on the value of what your brand has for them. 20% um, should be, you know, your experiences, why your products and services bring value to your customer and audience through your brand story and brand principles. This is going to help you to, you know what I'm saying, tie in with the other 80%, um, you know, that relates to the brand story and actually show the, you know, customer what you have to offer. Um, and it's going to help the customer to actually understand your why behind, you know, your products and services. Um, number three is engaging with others on social media. Now, this doesn't mean that you got to engage with every single person that, you know, um, you know, you see that comments, you know, that likes that, you know, even, you know, even send you a DM, but um, it's not something that guarant that's guaranteed to work for everyone on every platform, you know, but it helps on, you know, certain platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and even Facebook as well, too, because it helps those people that you are engaging with to feel compelled to, you know what I'm saying, share your content more. Also, you know what I'm saying, tap in with your content on a more consistent basis and also helps you to build other um, potential business, you know, uh, partners or, you know, collaborations or even, you know, sponsorships as well, too, um, with smaller brands. Um, it's just something that, you know, helps you down the line in a sense of networking on the social space. Number four is being yourself. Be authentic. Be real. Be you. Being you helps those in the world that have similar emotions, experiences, and ideals to relate to your stories and moments and helps your audience to not only quickly, but fully understand your why for your business and your journey. You know what I'm saying? It's going to help people feel and understand, you know, your thoughts, your, you know, your creative process, how you do things, how you move, who you are as a person. So that way, everything that relates resonates with them. And then they understand why you're doing the things that you do and how you do them. Number five is reposting your content in different ways. Now, Tyler Creator said this perfectly. Stop trying to be cool. Just because you posted something one time doesn't mean somebody is going to um, feel compelled to like your you know, content, like what you got going on or, you know, whatever. But at the same time, when you feel excited about what you got going on, you should feel the need to repost your content. Using stories on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook are not the only ways to keep your followers up to date with what's new with your brand. Creating new content with, you know, for the same offers, using throwback moments to remind your audience of your achievements can be the extra nudge for your ne uh, your next customer to purchase. It's a lever, you know, it's a lever leveraging uh, tactic, I guess you could say. You know, you're leveraging your assets. You're showing people over and over again why you are doing what you are doing and that you're excited about what you got going on, which is eventually going to, you know, push that energy of excitement to the customer. Number six is there's no such thing as you need a mental break from social media. The only reason why you need a mental break from social media is because you're not focused in on what you're supposed to be doing for your brand. If you're focused in on your brand, you will fastly understand that time is mostly important and every second counts. So you'll be more compelled to focus in on what you got to do for your brand, the, the content that you got to post, and uh, you'll only be engaging in content that is relatable to the type of content that you will want to post. Um, you have to approach your brand, you know, with the fact that there's competition out there. You have an audience. There's only 24 hours in a day and all the hours that you have um, are important.
there's different time intervals in the world. So even if you're working three hours a day on your brand, make sure that you post enough to make sure that you're seen and even heard by your audience. Number seven is finding the right platforms for your content. Study your niche, study the industry that you're in, study the you know different content creators that are you know posting the different content uh, within that niche and the sub niches because focusing in on a sub niche actually goes deeper into the different content that you're trying to get your uh, customers and audience to indulge in. This helps you to you know better understand who you are, what your content is, you know the type of um, content that you want to push out on a consistent basis. The you know actually understanding the different trends within you know the industry, and you know what I'm saying it helps you to make sure that you're posting captivating uh, content for your audience along the way on these platforms. So make sure that you do the research. It's important to do the research on the niche, not necessarily you know the um, I guess you could say the uh, YouTubers or you know the other content creators that you know are out there. But just focusing in on the type of content that they're posting. Don't focus in on just, you know, copying and trying to recreate the same thing. That's not the you know whole purpose here. Focus in on the details of what they are doing. Use that to, you know, create a blueprint for yourself on what you are already putting out there. So that way it looks more captivating to your audience from the previous, uh, you know, post that you have put out. Make sure you tap in, make sure that, you know, you like and subscribe. We appreciate everyone that has been tapping in. We are uh, almost at 500 subscribers here on YouTube. And also, you know, we are getting a lot of downloads um, consistently now on, um, you know, the podcast and even getting people to watch on YouTube audio and, you know, visual. So I appreciate everyone for tapping in. Um, just to let you guys know on some sales that are going on with our brand on our website, we have 25% off going on for our track suits and sweatsuits. So make sure that you tap in and take advantage of this for you and your kids so you guys can start living like royalty. We also do have 50% off going on on our TikTok lives when we are on the lives at 8.30. Make sure that you tap in. We appreciate all y'all. Keep visualizing your purpose. It only takes a solid plan, strategy, and execution to get your dreams and goals. Keep visualizing. I am out.